What up, what up, fam? It's your main man, DJ Knight, here to bring you a little bit of something different. Uh, since I am a featured Loot Crate streamer, the least I could do is to bring you the first of something that I hope to continue for a reasonable amount of time. I am bringing you my first unboxing. So, uh, since I've never done an unboxing before, bear with me. This is my first time. But uh, I just got my hands on the July 2015 crate. I wanted to make sure to, you know, bring it to you guys so that way you can see what's in it and we can find out together. So, in proper fashion, I haven't un I haven't opened anything yet, so you know how it goes. You got to use your keys. When, I mean, your keys got to be useful for something once you get in the house. So we got that done. We got the crate open. I've got my address lovelyly hidden. So yes, yes. Let's get to the crate. So pulling it to the side a little bit. I'm gonna bust it open. And the first thing I notice is the cool uh, windows. I mean, one three three seven. Can we get one three three seven Leet Avenue? I'm a fan of it, but holy crap, this thing is gigantic. I don't want to quite give it away yet, but we got a, a reasonable amount of goodies in here and something I can already see that I'm going to rock. So right here, first thing first, uh, something small, so I don't want to leave the big thing first, but uh, if we start to unroll it. It's a nice little poster. She can do it. We got the Wonder Woman love. Uh, we got the Wonder Woman in the old school. She can do it. If you guys remember from, uh, I can't remember the character's name, and I'm not even going to act like I do. I'd be a liar. Uh, but I do know that she represents powerful women everywhere. Uh, women women use that to, you know, empower themselves because women are just as awesome as men are. And anybody who thinks any different is incorrect and does not respect their mother. <laughs> Having said that, so let me push that to the side. And if you already noticed, I've got my Zero Borderlands Loot Crate uh, mouse pad from the previous month, as well as my Voltron uh, Loot Crate shirt, all for the love of the crate. Next thing we got... Oh, love. We got a little bit of Live Long and Prosper air freshener in vanilla flavor. Vanilla scented Live Long and Prosper. Uh, that's going to be a cool little feature for the car. Ah, ha, 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 ha. If you, all the Hyruleans out there know that uh, it's always nice to have, you know, a little bit of memorabilia from the proper land of Hyrule. Uh, but uh, it's a nice little wristband. Uh, if you notice, I have fairly sizable hands and wrists. So this could be proving, you know, problematic at some point. But it does stretch. It fits. I mean, it's a stretch, man. If it didn't stretch to fit, uh, stop existing. Uh, but uh, when I do bike into work or something like that, this would be lovely. So that way I can kind of hop on my bike, use a sweat band to wipe the brow, and still be repping Hyrule at the same time. So that's a cool little feature we got there. Nice little crate thus far. Okay, so... Story time. DJ Knight. Uh, anybody who asks may not understand the origin of DJ Knight, but DJ Knight started because as a teenager, I've always been, a, I was always a fan of um, medieval knights. Because when, when, medieval, when, when medieval knights showed up, it was time to wreck something. So I'm always a fan of anything knight related. And when Batman came out, I heard of, or not came out, obviously he was existing long before <laughs> I was but when I found out about Batman I understood he was known as the Dark Knight that kinda is a nice little segue into the DJ Knight as well so that way I can represent my love of Batman and Medieval Knights all at the same time so when Medieval Batman came out just yeah, mind blown but this is a cool little multi-tool it's got a bottle opener, a keychain, a flathead screwdriver as well as a crosshead screwdriver and that's just mind-boggling like I don't know about you but I wouldn't necessarily put that in my pocket doesn't look very comfortable. I don't imagine that'd be nice to hang from your keychain. But uh, I'm gonna open this thing just because I want to see what this thing is about. Like for real life, right now, like I would not put this in my pocket. And that is the tiniest crosshead screwdriver on earth right now. Like look how tiny that is. Like I'm, I mean, I, I have fairly sizable hands, but still, that is a tiny, for all intents and purposes, a Phillips. Let's let's be let's call it what it is. It's a Phillips screwdriver. But is the tiniest one in existence, and once my camera focuses on it, that is minute. Uh, the bottle opener is going to be destined to be badass, but uh, no, I don't see putting this in my pocket. But uh, I damn sure will have it around the house because I do tend to open up lots of bottles. And considering how much I open up, you know, computers and computer parts, it wouldn't hurt to have such a small uh, tool set around. I mean, uh, Phillips head, uh, flathead screwdriver, uh, tiny might come in handy, uh, but I, I just don't want to put that in my pocket, because I get the feeling it's going to destroy my pockets and, and everything's going to fall out of them. Uh, and as always, we've got a, uh, ah! 
we've got a button in the crate. So the Heroes 2 crate is, if, you know, I can hold it right side up and not glare my monitor at you. It's uh, July 2015, Heroes 2, repping the Heroes crate. Uh, it's got the bat signal in there, obviously with the Dark Knight in the foreground. Let's uh, kind of put these to where you can see them. Some sort of arrangement that is, you know, visual in there. Don't forget about this, put that back there. So, two, oh wow. Yep, two or three other things in here, which is nice. <gasps> oh, <laughs> Brawlhalla. Uh, any of you who are new to the channel might not know, but I'm a streamer on Twitch as well. Uh, if you're watching this, you can probably look below and you can get the link to my Twitch channel. But uh, I actually just started streaming Brawlhalla this past Sunday, and it's a blast. It's essentially, uh, when you get down to the core gameplay of it, it is a 2D Smash Brothers. And it's great. Like, great, like no jokes. Uh, but Brawlhalla, it's got a code here. I don't want to flash it because I don't want to lose my code. I like the idea of having it. But uh, this comes with a White Fang Nash. Uh, so White Fang Nash and Legend skin with a Long Tooth Spear skin, Howling Skull Hammer skin, the Nash Legend unlock, and the full version of the new platform fighter Brawlhalla. I actually have the game, but I do not have this Nash. Like, I really want this Nash. So I hope they let me redeem it. I would very much like to put hands on that custom hero. But if you are on the stream, uh, I actually will have you having codes to give away for Brawlhalla, so make sure to head to twitch.tv forward slash DJ Knight, and you will find me, and when I play Brawlhalla, I'll probably have codes to give away. But I digress. Moving on with the rest of the crate. Holy shit. This is an awesome looking book. <laughs> the League of Regrettable Superheroes. I'm sorry, that is boss mode. Look up in the sky. It's a bee. It's a witch. It's a giant eyeball. Like, <laughs> that's pretty impressive that it's a, it's, it's, it's a book of regrettable superheroes. I didn't even know that they would even do anything like that. So, let's see. Justin Wright. Crime robbed me of parental love. Something's got to be done to stamp out crime. Something will be done. That sounds like the most horrible line ever. Uh, existential Dilemma. Why not become a lumberjack-themed superhero? So, yeah... He lost his parents, and he wants to fight people, and he's a lumberjack. I'm going to enjoy reading this. I'm definitely going to enjoy reading this. Uh, so let me slide this off to the side. So i got space for the, the pièce de résistance. Holy crap. A fairly gigantic Q-pop Batman figurine. Classic TV series. So they're taking the old-school animated Batman series, and they're, they've made Q-pop with it. I mean, it's Batman... Loot Crate exclusive, so I don't know if you'll be able to get this exact model anywhere else. But, uh, let's have a look at it, shall we? Let's see what this thing is talking about. So let's, uh, fold up. Ooh! Sorry about that mic tap. We got a nice little Batman card in the back. Uh, for display purposes, etc. So let's kind of move this off to the side. Take this thing out of its plastic encasement once we break this tape. Oh hells yeah. That is pretty awesome. Alright, so let's see what's up with this here pen. What is the deal with this pen? Why is it a pen? What the fudge? How many layers to this thing are there? All the layers. All the layers exist. Alright, so got that kapow action. We got a a write board. Uh you can probably write over this. So let's see if this comes off, because it does look like it comes off, but let's see if it's a... Uh, yeah. I like that. So you can actually customize what he says. That is cool as shit. I like it. I like it. I like it. So the question lies is where does it go? Like, where on the stand? Does the little like hand go? Because it doesn't. It's not gonna like stick on him. So they've got to put it like a little the green to show where this got where this hides. Even if they don't, I don't care. It's still cool that I have a uh, eraser and a right board to put up behind my Batman figurine because that is ridiculously boss mode. But just to throw it up there, I mean, check her out. Twitch.tv forward slash DJ Knight. Haha. <laughs> Ignore my shitty handwriting. <laughs> 
But uh, this is definitely a, a cool little figurine if you're a fan of them. Like at my at the office, I have a bunch of uh, Funko figurines. So for me, this is perfect. Uh, I've got a bunch of other figurines that may not, you know, Batman related, but I do like them. I've also got a couple monies, dunnies, like some some random art design. I actually was working on one. Uh, I may when I finish it post a video about it, but. It's a cool crate, and then we also have, of course, Loot Crate Magazine with heroes on the cover, since, you know, this is the Heroes 2 episode. Uh, we've got some cool articles in here, cool shots of people repping their previous crate glory, rocking the Power Rangers tee, which I'm sad I actually missed that crate, because, I mean, Power Rangers. Who doesn't like the Power Rangers? But, uh, a couple cool articles in here. we got a ad from Kevin Smith's movie. we got a Batman vs. Wonder Woman, and goodness gracious, they show off the Mega Crate. Uh, I would have loved the Mega Crate, because who doesn't like Rise of the Tomb Raider, and it's an Xbox One, but for me, it's all about this guy right here. That Hyrulean Shield backpack, I want it. I want three of them. <laughs> but, uh, oh, that's what it is. Where's the little standy thing? I bet it's in here. I bet it's in here. Where is it? I'm glad I looked at that, because that shows me that I'm missing something. Either from the box or from the package. Sorry about hitting the mic. I'm a doofus. I'm a doofus. Yeah, I'm a doofus. I doof around and around and around. Alright, so I don't see the stand because there's like. There's supposed to be a little tiny straw. A tiny straw. Mm -hmm. But he's poised for crime fight in action. Got the loot crate on the handle. There's no straw. <gasps> I'm missing a straw. That kind of hurts. Because I really wanted to stand that up. Because that's it's apparently made for this piece. Yep, it sticks right into there. So I'm missing it. Or missed something in the crate. Watch it be missing. And look at this. I'm ruining my first unboxing by losing things. Or just not having them. But it's neither here nor there. Uh, let's see. So, nope, not in the box. Not on here. Yep. It's just missing, boo. But, still cool. Batman figurines from Q-Pop. And that looks like the case. Looks like the end of the crate. But, we still do have, like they started a little while back, they started the set pieces. So, when they do give the Funko figurines and stuff like that, you have inner cool stuff. And then this one even has little directions at the top of it. Flip this crate inside out. So that way you can kind of uh, showcase your Batman in your city. Let's do that. Let's turn it inside out. It's not like I have any reason to keep it outside in. Like, that's dumb. It's dumb. So let's flip it. See if it'll work for me. Didn't necessarily want to flip it on camera. Didn't know if it would work all that well, but screw it. Let's try it. Get it up here. Put it in. Nice. Alright, so that side flips in. That side flips in. Boom. We got a nice little standout of the city with 1337 loot. I'd imagine that's Loot Avenue. At least that's what I would imagine. I might I might be a little crazy sometimes. Which is factual, uh, I will admit. I am a little crazy on occasion. And I might want to open it up so I can put this in and fold it in properly. So, sweet, sweet. Full box, done up. 1337 loot. Looterville. Looterville. And then, once I can close it, like a smart person, since I'm not stupid all the time, and close it. Sweet. So now I've got my 1337 Looter Avenue. I can put my city up, put my Batman on the rooftop. If I ever feel like, you know, sticking it, stand that Batman dude up on top of the city. And I like the little touch of the Joker at the bottom. Anarchy, obviously, but got the Joker and Harley in there hanging out. Uh, what are these disgusting people doing in their windows? The old man is looking up sad. So yeah, they definitely set it up for you to put your Batman up there. A little bit of Penguin action, kind of referencing the Penguin. as You know, one of the other Batman heroes. Somebody in there getting their game on on their phone. But, uh, <laughs> oh yeah. Obviously, with the little people shoot with the Go Batman, so this is made specifically for you to stand your Batman on when you rock it out. So stand your Batman up 
on top of the city, and then the city gets to love you because you're Batman. All right, so that's about a that's about a wrap for this crate. It's got a lot of cool stuff in it. We got our Batman figurine. We got our Batman keychain, multi-tool bottle opener because who doesn't like the bottles every now and then? Uh, we've got our Live Long and Prosper Vanilla Air Freshener. Book of Regrettable, League of Regrettable Superheroes, Loot Crate Magazine, and the She Can Do It poster, as well as your Brawlhalla code uh, if you wanted to get hands on it. Uh, having played a bunch of Brawlhalla, I highly recommend it. If you like Smash Brothers, you will like uh, Brawlhalla because it is a great time. So, uh, having said that, this is DJ Knight signing out. Thank you very much for tuning in, and look forward to my next crate next month uh, if I'm lucky enough to get hands on one, which I'd imagine I should be lucky. To so get hands on one, because you know how it works when you get a subscription. But uh, this is DJ Knight signing out. Thank you very much for tuning in. Have a fantastic one.